Some affected business owners shared with City News that their businesses are gradually bouncing back despite a flood incident. However, they emphasize the urgent need for city authorities to take decisive action in finding a lasting solution to the recurring flood problem. I feel a tax force should be, uh, should be set, right, so that um, dumping of refuse into the stream, right, could be checked from the top of the mountain because we know that this stream runs from the top of the mountain through our side. Yes, so I feel that maybe a tax force or whatever they can do <laughs> to check the dumping of refuse into the stream so that when it rains, right, uh, there will be more of water than um, uh, refuse and logs and tree stumps. They are thinking that we are not selling. Or they think that when they come, they will come and buy a damaged goods. Yeah. So they are not coming. So we want government to help us. The, that gutter, the gutter over there, is the cause of the whole thing over there. For we are staying here, it's because of that pipe on the gutter. So if they can remove, they can raise the pipe. I think that one will solve the problem here. The impact of the flooding extended beyond residential areas, affecting student hostels at the whole Technical University and the University of Health and Allied Sciences. This added to the overall disruption caused by the heavy rain. During an interview with City News, the SRC General Secretary of the whole Technical University, Gladys Chiagbe, mentioned that students are managing to cope with the aftermath of the downpour. We were cleaning, cleaning, cleaning fetching some of the waters out, we were scooping and some people came to help us and then gradually, gradually we were able to scoop the water out. So, and yesterday it rained again. So, because it was our fence that broke, they were fixing it yesterday, but then it didn't dry up before it started raining. So the wood and things that they used to chuck the concrete so that it, it, the water swept it away. To address some of the concerns raised by the residents, demolition exercises have commenced in the municipality. The whole municipal national disaster management organization has started tearing down some structures that are deemed hazardous to human lives. Uh, with the leadership of our municipal chief executive, we've embarked on the demolition exercise um, from our union shop here. I uh, we went to SDA and then back to we have a here, and that's what we have done this morning. However, some homeowners whose weekend structures were demolished disagreed with NADMO, stating that they should have received prior notice about the demolition. The member of parliament for the whole central constituency, Benjamin Pudu, has called on the municipal assembly to reevaluate the existing drainage systems in the municipality. What we are saying is that this is caused by the narrow and uh, a very small drainage system that we have. What we can do to avert this type of trouble in the future is to take it serious now and expand our culverts or deepen them so that when such huge volumes of water come up again, they will find their path and go to wherever uh, they, they, they've been going to. Additionally, he urged the assembly to ensure proper permits are issued to homeowners to avoid future complications. Waterways. But the assembly should be strict in enforcing the bylaws. If you have failed to obtain permit as you construct, you should be taken to task. Yes, you should be taken to task as to why you have done that. The necessary punitive uh, measures are given to you so that uh, there can be sanity in the way we build our houses and structures in the uh, locality. The rains have once again set in here at the Vota Regional Capital Hall, with residents still with the view that there is a need for a much more bigger drainage system in the municipality and also the demolition of structures uh, sited along waterways. Reporting for City News from the Vota Regional Capital Hall, I'm the Sotelatia.